Hi, uh, Rob Wilcox here. Just wanted to give you a quick demonstration on how to set up public folder archiving with Enterprise Vault. Um, so this is my little public folder structure that I've got set up for our demo here uh, with my folder B1, with a few posts in it, another subfolder off there and another subfolder off there. And I'm going to set up archiving against this folder here, the B1 folder. I'm going to jump then to my EV server there's a few different steps that you've got to do. First of all, um, this is something I always like to do even in my demo environments. I kind of try to keep my mailbox archives in one vault store, my public folder archives in another vault store, FSA stuff in another vault store and so on. So I'm going to create a new vault store uh, that's going to be for my public folders. You put that just create the data files and the logs like so. I'm going to set it to immediately after archive so that we get some shortcuts created. That's going to create my public folder vault store. And then we will go into the partition creation wizard. I'm going to walk through this wizard pretty quickly. I'm just going to create it in a default location. I'm going to skip the connectivity test and all the way to the end. So I've now got uh, a public folder vault store. So um, now I've got a public folder vault store and a partition underneath that, as we can see here. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to create a public folder archiving task. Just create a new task here on my exchange server. Now it's going to go and uh, list all of my mailboxes um, on the server so that I can pick a system mailbox. Uh, the system mailbox I've got here is this one. And I'm going to do finish. I'm not going to start the task straight away. Because again, one of the first things I do with public folder archiving is turn off the site setting and set the schedule to never. OK, then I can start the task. So I've got a vault store group created with a vault store in it and a partition and a task. So now I'm going to go to exchange public folder archives and I'm going to create a new archive. I'm going to put it in my uh, public folder vault store. I'm going to call it uh, PF Archive and I'm going to assign the billing account to be my vault admin account and that's pretty much it. So I've got vault store, partition, task and archive. Now uh, what I'd suggest doing is go into the policies, having a look at your public folder default policy as to what's going to be archived, uh, review all your archiving rules, review what your shortcut content is going to be, and which message classes are going to be archived. Don't forget that it's quite common in public folders for people just to drag and drop documents straight into the folder, which is a little bit different than, than emails. And also don't forget, as well as having um, emails in the public folders, you'll have posts in the public folders, probably. So I'm just going to leave my policy as is there. Then I'm going to go up here to the targets and go all the way down to public folder here. And I'm going to right click and do new public folder. And I'm going to choose a standard one. And I'm going to target B1. What this will do is create an archive um, for B1 and put everything in there and subfolders of it. So uh, make sure that this enable archiving of the public folders selected, otherwise it gets a little bit complicated and strange to try and troubleshoot. And then click next here. And pick the policy, pick the retention category that you want. And then we pick the archive that we just created. So this is where that uh, public folder is going to archive to. And then click finish. 
and there we go that's created it all so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back to my client machine and I'm going to go into this folder B1 I'm going to pick an item here and I'm going to just click on store in bold and there you go the item was immediately archived I'm going to go into the subfolder here pick this first item do store in bold on that as well and that's how you set up public folder archiving in uh, Enterprise Vault. A question that then usually gets asked is how you go about uh, browsing this structure. And of course, you can use Archive Explorer. And here we can see the public folder archive. And the places that we just archived things are showing up right here. So that's one way that you can uh, open the items that you've archived. Uh, you can also do search and uh, choose the public folder archive do search and again you'll get the results back one of the things that uh, you might want to do if I jump back to my EV server for a second go to exchange public folder and the archive go to properties here and go to permissions you might want to add some additional people in here that you want to be able to search the archive of. And then when you've added them here uh, and synchronized the mailboxes the next time, which you know by default happens once or twice a day, um, those users will then be able to see the public folder archive in Archive Explorer and they'll have it in an integrated search on the drop down list. So I hope that uh, intro there shows you how to set up a public folder archive with Enterprise Vault shows you kind of how easy it is to do and gives you a taste as to what you should do. Thanks very much. Bye bye.